Greetings everybody, this is Dave Matuzic from MacDack Engineering and I've got another tech tip for you guys here. I have on this fixture four identical parts and I'm coming in and I'm machining a real basic operation. I'm just going to come in and take this one cut here to clean up these cutouts. Now this corner here on this part I set up to be G55 and I want four other work offsets on this part so we can come in and set up new locations for each of these Part, just in case there's something off about the location on the fixture. So I have G55, I'll make one 56, 57, and G58. Now, most of you know that you can do that automatically with Toolpaths Transform. And I'm just going to go through that real quick, and then I'll show you the magic about here. So I'm going to go by Tool Plane, assign new work offsets, and I'll translate these to proper distance. So I already know all these all this here and actually I'm gonna do one more thing here I'm just gonna copy my source operation so now I have one operation that's gonna come in here and I've got that'll be G55, G56, G57 and G58 and in case you doubt me I'm just gonna post this out really quick so here we go I have G55 and let's go find G56. So I have a G56 down over here. A G57. And a G58. And then I'm done. And that's great. I could come in, if I just had a edge find apart, I could come in and edge find these here and get that. But I don't have planes. It didn't make a whole set of planes for me. If I go to my plane manager, I just have this one G55 plane that I made earlier. It didn't create all the other planes for me. And I really want that to happen. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Mastercam uh, Productivity Plus add-on to come in and probe all these parts to set up my work offsets. And I need planes in order for that to happen. So I'm going to come down here into my parameters and turn on a button here in a method called Save Planes kind of hidden there. It's been there for a while, but it's not something you turn on all the time. So there's your tip. I'm going to regenerate this. I'm going to come down here to planes in my plane manager. So I have my first plane, G55, my second, and you'll see that the work offset there is indeed labeled 1 because that represents a G55 in, in this post. Number 2 is a 56. It's on the second one that was created third one that was created and the fourth one over here so that's all my planes created there for me and I could come in here and rename these if I wanted to but I don't really need to do that right now so what that's gonna let me do now for example one thing I could do with this is I can come in and come in here and do some probing so come down here to probe and I have the productivity plus add-on here for Mastercam and I'm gonna use this to set up those planes in my machine so I'll just come down here, grab a probe, and pick my uh, corners. I'm going to pick four corners, and I'm going to go in order in which they're going to do them here just to reduce my confusion. And I can come in and update my machine offsets using the planes that were created with that with that uh, transform operation here. So this one here, I'm going to update this using corner one. I'll update my second one here using corner two. Update number three using corner three and update the corner here with offset number four using number four and now I have my probing operation that'll come in and do my probing on the parts update my work offsets and come in here and do my other parts there you go, there's, a, there's a, a use for doing that there, making some planes here. Another thing I could do is if I had to come in and recut a feature on just one of these parts, 
again, I can come in here and I can do, under my plane manager, pick the plane I want to use. We'll save this one here. I'm going to change something about this operation. And I'll come in and add in the second op I need to do. I think maybe here I'll just put a little chamfer on the top. Just use a spot drill to put that chamfer on the area right there. Maybe just a little 20 thou chamfer to break an edge. And because I have my plane set up here and I pick that plane, it'll automatically put that on the correct plane for me. Let me just move that here after the operation. So now I still have all I still have my G54, 55, 56, 57, 58. And I was able to use the planes I created with that transform up to do a couple things here. I was able to use that in order to do a probing operation. I was able even to come in and do that as a 2D chamfer. So it's a couple cool things I was able to do with just that uh, one little button inside Toolpath Transform. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.